Have you ever wondered why some people can captivate an audience with their words while others struggle to hold attention? This enigma often lies in the ability to master the art of rhetoric, a key skill that can dramatically elevate our personal and professional lives. From leading a team meeting, winning a debate, to influencing a social gathering, rhetoric skills are an invaluable asset. But like any skill, it needs to be honed and nurtured. And to master the art of rhetoric, it is essential to form beneficial habits. Let's delve into the habits that can help you become a master of rhetoric. First and foremost, regular reading of diverse literature, particularly fiction, can significantly broaden your vocabulary and refine your speaking style. Reading also cultivates an understanding of text structure and tone, which are crucial for effective public speaking. Secondly, hone your active listening skills. This means fully focusing on what another person is saying, which includes understanding the content of the speech, analyzing the tone and decoding nonverbal cues. This practice not only makes you a better listener, but also provides insights into how others communicate, thereby refining your own communication skills. Next, consider recording your own speeches or everyday conversations. Listen back to them, paying close attention to your pace, intonation, pauses and word choice. This self-analysis will highlight the strengths of your speech as well as areas that require improvement. Fourthly, develop your ability to summarize. Being able to communicate complex ideas in clear, concise language is a key aspect of powerful rhetoric. This practice makes your speech more accessible and understandable to a broader audience. Fifth, work on your self-confidence. This entails maintaining a positive attitude towards yourself and your abilities, as well as regularly practicing public speaking in front of diverse audiences. Sixth, always prepare and structure your speech in advance. Break it down into logical segments, an introduction, the main body, and a conclusion. This aids in organizing your thoughts and enhances the audience's comprehension of the information you're conveying. Seventh, don't underestimate the power of nonverbal communication. Gestures and facial expressions can intensify your speech and make it more persuasive. Practice using them to underscore key points in your speech. Eighth, embrace feedback and self-analysis. Feedback from colleagues, friends or your audience provides valuable insights into how others perceive your speech. Regular self-analysis is also vital for continuous improvement of your rhetoric skills. Ninth, master time management. Controlling the timing of your speech is a crucial aspect of effective rhetoric. Ensure your speech is neither too long nor too short and plan your time to cover all your key points. Lastly, practice improvisation. This skill can help you navigate unexpected questions or situations during a speech. By practicing improvisation, you'll learn how to respond quickly and confidently to a variety of circumstances. Remember, each of these habits plays a key role in mastering the art of rhetoric. Developing these habits won't happen overnight. Just like mastering any skill, becoming adept at the art of rhetoric requires consistency, patience, and a whole lot of practice. It's not merely about memorizing techniques and strategies. It's about integrating them into your daily interactions until they become second nature. It's crucial to remember that this journey isn't a solitary one. Open yourself up to feedback from others. Listen to their perspectives on your speech, your style, your approach. This will provide invaluable insights that you might have missed on your own. In addition to this, the habit of self-analysis plays a pivotal role in your growth. Reflect on your performances, identify areas of improvement and work towards refining them. This continuous cycle of learning, practicing, analyzing and improving is the key to mastering rhetoric. With time, effort and a dedication to these habits, you can significantly improve your rhetoric skills and become a more effective communicator. To recap the key points we've discussed today, mastering rhetoric requires regular reading, active listening, self-analysis and practice. It's about structuring your speech, managing time and improvising. Remember, the art of rhetoric can be learned and these habits can set you on the right path. Happy speaking!